Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Stormworks Build and Rescue. And today we are going to showcase this new uh, ship I have. Uh, this is uh, meant to be like um, a base, a moving uh, base uh, for the um, for re uh, refueling for example this is uh, one use case that um, I have found because well one issue uh, as you have seen in my previous videos uh, that I frequently have with um, with the uh, sky crane is that it consumes a lot of fuel and uh, frequently we don't have a place nearby to uh, refuel so what I thought is to use uh, a mobile base sort of where helicopters could come and refuel also boats could refuel as well and have this type of uh, ship in strategic points in the map so let me show what's, uh, what I'm talking about uh, how we could do that first let's uh, put some fuel let's put some fuel and this uh, one of the special things about this uh, ship is that it takes a lot of fuel so we can um, use it as a s sort of uh, a tanker to go and buy fuel and then refuel our, our vehicles or bases so here now it's taking fuel let's do it uh, quickly there so now I'm pumping fuel out of the of the tank right there so let's get some fuel and the other thing that I made was this small tanks to hold fuel it's this these are like uh, I, I copied the design from the from the game the game has this sort of um, of uh, containers fuel containers as you can see here but I just sort of re reproduce it you can see it here is this this same design it's just that um, yeah probably inside is not exactly the same but I thought of doing this to transfer fuel from one place to another in a convenient way so this one is uh, one is empty and the other one is half full I think this one is this one is empty so we can uh, get like we can we can bring this this container to the ship uh, load it there and then bring it back okay so this ship I think holds enough fuel like to leave this thing empty like th th this is 25,000 liters or more the the ship takes more than that it could leave one of these empty it's really huge and but I think we have enough fuel just to take it for a spin oh no it fell so there we are we have um, 1200 something I think that's enough to take it for a spin it's just I don't know disconnect here
Let's go to the bridge. Okay, so the bridge is very similar to other designs like the catamaran, but it's the it's bigger. It has this um, all this extra space that you see on the sides. And here, what I plan to do is to have uh, other uh, stations to help uh, man the 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 ship. And for example, I this ship has like ballast tanks similar to to the one I made for the submarine. So this um, one of the sections of the bridge will be dedicated to control the ballast tanks and the idea of these ballast tanks is to give the ship some stability and to yes because sometimes you can put heavy objects in the in the deck um, it could make the ship um, uh, how it's called uh, tilt and then we need to balance it somehow so uh, now that all the ballast tanks are empty uh, it has it is quite um, stable but as soon as i land some helicopter or something the the deck is is made especially so that the helicopters can land there and if they are not uh, centered it could tilt a, a little bit okay so let's get the the, uh, the engine started yeah oh, that's the that is the horn of the ship okay so both engines are engaged I think um, let's have the throttle override so I don't have to to control them independently. This is the same as the, the catamaran. And maybe I could use the, the lights. Now let's let's release the throttle, the uh, clutch. There we go. So it has this medium size, I think I have to engage the other one. It has these two medium size um, engines or um, propellers, I mean. I think that's... that's... no. It's not very fast. But it can hold a, a, a lot of cargo. At the front it has a searchlight. And... Uh, yeah, here, here on the deck we can land uh, a helicopter. Either we can land the small one or the sky crane as well. And in the front you can see that I have um, a fuel station where I can refuel the helicopters. Beside that in the deck you can see that there are uh, deck doors. Let's... Uh,
Let's stop the boat. Okay, there we are. So I will show you the deck. So in the deck I have... Um, this is the area where the helicopter will land. And... Oh, that's too much light, I think. The lights in this game... Um, have a lot of uh, reflection where is it? external lights, I think this is enough with the deck lights so um, yes the this area here, these are uh, doors or I don't know, hatches, I don't know how to call it but these doors as you can see I can open them uh, with this lever here and then we can introduce uh, cargo inside and this is the interior we have stairs going down these uh, like sleeping quarters I have two beds here and then this is like the engine room here and you can see here it are the, do the doors so we can place cargo in this area, this open area right here so I have two uh, large batteries and two medium sized engines with uh, medium sized generators so the engines and the generators are accessible so I don't know it could be that um, we could close this area as well and do something else here and then have like a an additional engine room and the cargo here maybe this this area could be used for i don't know something else and that's it this is the interior there's a lot of space but this is like a work in progress so even even these doors i'm not sure if this uh, how useful would these doors be in the game sometimes uh, you have like these um, missions to transport cargo and stuff uh, depending on the size um, you could place it inside the, the ship and uh, then you have extra space uh, in on the deck like free space on the deck Okay, so we could now fetch a helicopter, for example, and land, in, land it on the deck. Uh, the size, I calculated the size uh, for the sky crane. The, the, the sky crane can land, uh, but... Uh, I think it's not meant for it to stay there because if if we have really bad weather maybe we will have a hard time with uh, because sky crane is really big we have like uh, some connectors on the deck though to to anchor the the, the helicopter so we could try that let's see if we can do that just um, just landing the helicopter in on the on the deck okay 
I should bring the wind check. So let's see what could we do here. So the way it's meant to be is that the um, the helicopter should face for uh, backwards relative to the ship So what what we have to care about here is not to um, knock the plates with the ship. So that is the the risk we're running here. So as you, as you can see, it's not like uh, a lot of space free right it's just barely the, the the space to to land just barely and i'm aligning myself here so that, oops, you see that that's dangerous right there. We are too close. There, I think that's the, that's the spot. And, and as you can see is very uh, precise. And the last time I did this, Let's bring the winch down. The last time I did this, the, the, the helicopter was moving. Ah, well, let's... I think the brakes are on, I think. Yes, the brakes are on. Um, one thing I would try to do is to fix this... Um, these connectors so to anchor the, the the helicopter so um that's one and that's the other and i think we can stop it now and we can retract the So once it has like the right, you see how, how the helicopter is tilting. Uh, it's very, okay, so that's enough, I think. So there it's anchored. So for some reason it's not um, you see that it's a little bit tilted and that is why um, I placed this ballast tank it could give a little bit more stability if they ha if they hold some water at the bottom so these are work in progress. I, I don't have yet the like everything sorted out, but at least for 
an emergency I could just uh, refuel the the helicopter here well currently it's holding a uh, little fuel but uh, the idea is that you would take the we could take the the pump we could take the the, the, the fluid connector here and connect it to the to the, to the helicopter and then um, refuel it and then it can continue with with uh, with a mission or to to some other destination okay so this is uh, the, the other helicopter of course is, is smaller and fits better here so probably the, the, the small helicopter is uh, the one that would be more permanently um, la landed on the on the ship Okay, right there it's uh, taking fuel from the helicopter right now, but if I turn on the pump and I switch, then it will give um, fuel to the helicopter. The helicopter seems to have... Uh, I don't know, it doesn't have that much fuel. Yeah, so there... The helicopter is being refueled there. Another thing that the this ship can provide is um, electricity. So for that reason, I have this other winch. Uh, currently, it's lacking the connector. This with a new system that uh, where the winches don't have the the connection like. That, those one is the new the one of the updates of the of the game so this this winch here is already deprecated this winch with a uh, with this um, connector here with this um, winch end the new ones they don't have this winch end I think they are supposed to be connected by the I don't know if by the player the player will be able to make these uh, rope connections in game okay so I think this is basically it it's not refueling that fast no it's a little it's a bit slow okay So there we go. Okay, so I can show the interior of the ship. So you can see what how it's configured. Uh, let me stop this. So this is the ship from inside and you can see that I have all these ballast tanks at the bottom and these ballast tanks are 
thought to hold water I have this pumping mechanism like in the submarine um, and also uh, we have these are the the fuel tanks the fuel tanks are inside of the ballast tanks so of course right now our ship uh, has little fuel I I am playing in this mode where the, the ship spawns without fuel so I could test this refueling with a with a pump here but as uh, as the tanks will get fuel then it will become more stable it won't tilt that much but even with 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 the tanks empty it has a good stability just because of the how big it is right so i i plan to use this to for a like a refuel station um even if you could you can build this these type of things you you can keep buying certain bases because basically what you do with the base beside um spawning certain vehicles is that you use them to to refuel because uh, in the game there are so few refueling spots so if you can have several of these uh, ones um, then you can pretty much extend your your rescue area in a significant way um, yeah but but as I said this this is a, a work in progress the there could be other things that we could add to this um, station of course the the sleeping quarters is uh, important if you want to heal yourself uh, but also we could have like these um, medical uh, beds for example we could have also some cranes uh, installed on the ship to to help with uh, cargo or for example you could have uh, um, the submersible um, attached to this um, ship so I this is all something I, I also thought that I could have like um, a crane that will hold the, the submersible or any other boat for that matter so you could you could uh, just deploy this this boat uh, if you need it in in a mission you can get here with a helicopter and just deploy your boat and get whatever whatever you you need to to go and at the top we see like the horn and the and the chimneys right and the uh, the bridge has a pretty good visibility it has um, a lot of windows and you can see all the 360 degrees around okay so that's our base ship <laughs> i i was uh, thinking about calling it like that a base ship maybe there's a better name for that okay so that's everything for this episode uh, i hope you enjoy it and hope to see you in the next video this is cyber settler signing off